Obviously, some families on the show do not seem as common as what we're used to. But does your family not have the same little troubles as well? We sure do. And that is why we love Modern Family so much. The characters are so different, but yet they often remind us of ourselves. Let's dive inside the Modern Family and reveal what is going on in the real lives of the characters. Sofia Vergara as Gloria Pritchett. Like her determined and family-loving character Gloria, Sofia is always surrounded by her friends, family, and most of her castmates and crew members. She always had dozens of admirers, but she chose to marry her high school boyfriend, Joe Gonzalez, right after graduation, when she was only 18. With him, Sofia became a mom for the first time. She gave birth to her son, Manolo Gonzalez Ripoll. Apparently, Sofia and Joe were too young to start a family, and things soon got too complicated. Unlike her character, who isn't afraid to use violence as a solution, Sofia is much more diplomatic, and so the separation with her husband was a calculated and calm solution. Sofia was left alone. For years, she struggled with the life of a working single mother. She was also fighting cancer and helping her brother quit drugs. She did not have time for her personal life, but she needed support and wanted a father for her son. And finally, almost 10 years after divorce, she found the one. They met at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in D.C. It was the Magic Mike actor, Joe Manganiello, and he says he knew that Sophia was his soulmate. It's coming to grips with the idea that someone who is not yet related to you could possibly love you that much, the actress told US Magazine. This extremely good-looking pair got together in 2014 and were engaged just six months later. When Sophia is asked to comment on her personal life, she replies that she couldn't be happier. The two are frequently snapping photos of their romance on social media and are even planning to star in a film together. Judging by their public love, the two seem to be perfect for each other. Ed O'Neill as Jay Pritchett First, we knew Ed O'Neill as the funny actor from Married with Children. Now, we love him playing the patriarch of the Dunphy family. Despite trading in his older wife for a much younger one on Modern Family, Ed O'Neill has been married to his wife Catherine for 32 years. But it took O'Neill 13 years to give in to the idea of having kids with his wife. Catherine was already 42 years old when she finally gave birth to her first child. At the beginning, I sort of reluctantly went along with it, he told the New York Post, as a favor to her, I was thinking. Then we had the first one. I was like, oh my god, I'm in love! Although it was not always sunny for the two of them, the couple had been separated for some time. But they got back together and currently live in Los Angeles, raising two wonderful daughters and doing just fine. Julia Bowen as Claire Dunphy It's hard to picture Julia Bowen as Claire, married to anyone other than her hilarious on-screen husband, Phil. Yet she was married to software developer and businessman Scott Phillips for 13 years. In fact, in the pilot of Modern Family, Julie was heavily pregnant with twins, and the production had to strategically place her behind objects to cover her stomach. On what makes a marriage successful, Bowen joked, Honestly, I only remember up until we had the kids. Then you're like, what? 12 years. We've had children for nine. So I remember the first three years, the rest of it is like a blackout. Seems that the blackout was not pleasant though, since after so many years, Julie filed for divorce and the couple decided to go their separate ways. In an interview, Julie joked about her marriage to Scott, saying that the pair were simply too tired to do anything else, and that is why they did not break up earlier. We hope Julie will find someone who will make her feel as happy as her on-screen husband does for Claire. Ty Burrell as Phil Dunphy Phil considers himself a cool dad, who often engaged in ridiculous activities with Luke, much to Claire's dismay. In real life, Ty is less childlike and more of a calm and steady husband. He chose to marry the chef Holly Burrell. Together, they managed to combine the best of both of their worlds, as in two years, the couple will celebrate 20 years of mutual love. Holly is a professional chef, and a really great one, according to Ty. My wife, Holly, is an amazing cook, so everything around what I make tastes great, he told US Weekly. Looks like the chef found her way to her husband's heart through his stomach. The couple had adopted a baby girl, and two years later, they decided to adopt a second daughter. Today, this modern family is living happily together with their daughters Greta and Francis in the City of Angels. Jesse Tyler Ferguson as Mitchell Pritchett Like many of the plot twists on the show, Jesse Tyler Ferguson's real-life coming-out story is equally embarrassing and hilarious. 
When the actor was a freshman in high school, he got caught by security at a bookstore attempting to shoplift some adult gay videos. My mom and dad saw the nature of the material I was stealing, and that's how I came out, he says. Today he finds it a funny story, but back then, it was incredibly traumatizing. Thankfully, all this did not affect Jesse's personal life. Six years ago, Jesse got engaged to a lawyer, Justin Makita, after dating for almost two years. When we first meet Ferguson's character, he is just embarking on fatherhood for the first time. In last year's interviews, the actor expressed an eagerness to become a father in real life. Justin and I are very excited to become dads in the near future, he told E! News. There has been no announcement yet, but we are expecting it anytime soon. Eric Stone Street as Cameron Tucker Eric Stone Street portrays the funny and adorable teddy bear Cameron Tucker. Despite playing such an emotional gay character on Modern Family, Eric has a rather different personal life. Despite the fact that everyone thinks he is openly gay, in real life, after being in a long-term relationship with actress Catherine Tokars, last year Eric admitted that he had found love again. Stone Street started to date a pediatric nurse, Lindsay Schweitzer, and is madly in love with her. She calms my nerves. I'm a very high-strung person, he told Ellen DeGeneres on her show. We don't know if wedding bells will ring, but for now the couple is enjoying getting to know each other more. Seems that Eric chose to shun the high-profile Hollywood lifestyle and date someone a bit more down-to-earth. Sarah Hyland as Haley Dunphy Haley was always the pretty, ditzy, and rebellious one who cared a lot more about her appearance rather than her studies, and the one who always had these endless problems in her personal life. The real Hyland doesn't deal with as many boyfriend issues. She is currently dating the reality star Wells Adams. He has appeared as a contestant on both The Bachelorette and Bachelor in Paradise. Sarah admitted the two started exchanging messages on social media, and she said, I thought he was funny, and he was a fan of my show. After their first date, the two became inseparable, and they are often seen posting romantic pictures on their social media profiles. As she told Jimmy Kimmel about her relationship with Wells, this is really awesome. We hope it will stay this way. Ariel Winter as Alex Dunphy Winter, who plays the Brainiac Dunphy daughter, Alex, was just 11 years old when she was cast on Modern Family. During the early years of the show, Ariel had to deal with family issues and was growing from a girl into a woman. No easy task, especially in the spotlight. Ariel said her mother sexualized her, starting from the age of seven, and would dress her in the smallest miniskirts, sailor suits, low-cut things, the shortest dresses ever. People thought I was 24 when I was 12, Ariel said. I went through a really rough period, a really bad chapter, Winter revealed, and admitted she hadn't spoken to her estranged mother in five years. Luckily, with the support of her on-set friends and loved ones, she managed to overcome the hard times. Ariel might play a grounded nerd on TV, but her real life is quite the contrary. She has had lots of light affairs, but two years ago, Ariel began dating actor Levi Meaden, with whom she truly fell in love. The actor is almost 10 years older and seems to be successfully developing his career. You may recognize him from his role as the young son in the family apocalyptic thriller, Aftermath. And he also appeared in Gabrielle Union's thriller, Breaking In This Year. After a turbulent life with her estranged mother, it seems that Meaden has finally given her some stability. On their one-year anniversary, Winter gushed, I'm the luckiest girl in the entire world. She added that she is the happiest I could have ever imagined. We're happy for you too, Ariel. Nolan Gould as Luke Dunphy The majority of Modern Family fans will always think of Luke as the curly-haired and mischievous kid, but in real life, he's all grown up. 18-year-old Nolan grew up right in front of our eyes, and last year, he was already spotted on a date with a blonde. It was rumored that Nolan was dating Australian model Hannah Glasby after the two were seen out holding hands. Although neither of them have confirmed nor denied the relationship, it looks pretty obvious. Nolan also has a great relationship with his on-screen sis, Alex. He and the actress, Ariel Winter, are not only close friends on the show. On his Instagram, Nolan congratulated Ariel on her birthday and thanked her for all the years they've spent together on Modern Family. He wrote, so lucky to have shared this crazy experience with you for the past decade, adding, can't wait to see what the future holds. Hmm, perhaps the future will hold a romance between these two? We would love to see that. Benjamin Bratt as Javier Delgado the passionate Colombian bad boy and ex-husband of Gloria is actually an American actor who has dated A-list actresses like Julia Roberts. The actress told Vanity Fair that they met in a restaurant in New York. 
He walked in, and I looked up at him, and it was like something hit me over the head with a bat. A high-profile romance was born, but the two ended it after four years. Insiders claimed Brat was ready to start a family, and wanted Roberts to move from New York to his hometown of San Francisco, but Roberts had other plans. It's not clear what really happened between the two, but their lives took different paths. But Brat's dreams did come true with another actress, Talisa Soto. The couple got married in San Francisco after meeting on the set of the film Panero. Since then, Brat has wholeheartedly devoted himself to the role of husband and father. During the New York premiere of La Mission in 2009, he gushed about his family life. We're going on our eighth year of marriage and it feels like six months because we're so aligned, he said. In 2008, Brat shared some heartbreaking news with fans. His then five-year-old daughter, Sophia, had suffered a brain injury during her birth that left her with physical disabilities. Brat gave up his career ambitions because he wanted to be a better father. It was hard for both the parents to deal with their daughter's struggles, but working with therapists helped. And according to Brat, Sophia now understands everything. She's quick to laugh, she's loving, and a physically beautiful child. And that is the most important thing for the actor right now. Check out these other great stories from Asa and subscribe for new videos about your favorite stars.